What is going on guys, Victor here and today's video I am here with Tom Lewis and he's going to show you guys how to choose your colors when it comes to flare hawk selection, in particular the first light jig. How you doing guys? Um, we have a lot of different varieties of colors of jigs that we throw and sell. Um, fish ourselves and as you can see with chartreuse we got white, we have pink, we have some that are two-tone bodied, half and half. Um, and the reason we do that is because not every night you're going to have water clarity that's going to be the same depending if it's incoming, outgoing, or if you have a runoff and you're fishing the backwater. Um, so I, when I say the runoff, I'm talking about the runoff of fresh water. So it's darker water. Um, so basically what you want is darker color for darker water, which would be your chartreuse, your pinks. The water is real crystal clear. White works very well. Pink also works really well sometimes in clean water. Um, and basically what you want to do is have a selection of, of several different ones so you can go to incoming or outgoing tide. Incoming being much cleaner majority of the time than the outgoing. And you actually can go from one bridge to the next depending at any night of the week and you can, you can choose the right color for the best bite that night. All right, the other, just adding to what we're talking about, the color selection. On any given night, um, fish are colorblind, but they see tints. So what you have to have, you have different moon phases, and you have different water clarities. So one night, the silhouette of a chartreuse will stand out and be seen better by a snook or a fish over and above a white jig. And that's why we want to use the different colored uh, variations of tackle. Okay, what I suggest to do as far as selecting the color of lure, if you're fishing with a party of two or three, have one guy throw white, one guy throw a chartreuse, one guy throw a pink one. Once you guys figure out what color jig is working for that moment on that bridge or that jetty or if you're in a boat fishing the channel, wherever you're at, then you, everybody can go to that color. Um, I'll give you an example. We were fishing one night for one week. They were hitting chartreuse, nothing but chartreuse. Couldn't catch any other fish. On the third night we went, I took a friend of mine. He was throwing pink. We were throwing a chartreuse. Pink got eight, chartreuse didn't. So that's the reason you need to have a variety of colors. Is because on any given night, these fish can change up. The water color or tint in the water can change. If you have a northeaster, you get a lot of sand in it and silt. With that happening, the water clarity drops and the silhouette of the jig in the water changes. And depending on you know what the silhouette needs to be for that fish that night, it might be a pink one, it might be a white one, it might be a chartreuse one. We also do two tones, and the reason we do a two tone is sometimes the color of the water that night with the silt and different you know stuff that's in the water, um, that silhouette will stand out. And it's a reaction bite. But something different thrown in front of a fish that they didn't see, and you've already thrown this one and this one, you put this one on, and all of a sudden you get thumped. And now, you know, fish is on. And you may end up with multiple fish that night on that one color. We all have our favorite jig, and I will tell you, I probably throw this color right here 60% of the time I'm fishing. Not 100%, 60%. And the reason being is, we all have our one favorite color lure. But there's sometimes we go, hey, fish didn't bite tonight. Well, they didn't bite that color, but they could have bit something different, a different shade, a different tint, pink, white. And that's why I suggest, if you have your favorite, stock up on them, but don't be afraid to throw something a little different and buy just a few of the others so you do have backup and you do have a way of you know, flip, flipping the tint in the water, the color of the selection of what you're throwing. And You'll catch more fish by doing that. One thing I do uh, want to let you guys, I'm gonna rephrase what I said. If you're in a party of three and you guys are hitting bridges or you're hitting your snook spots and you're th all throwing jigs, I do suggest everybody throw a different color until you find what the fish are feeding on. And then everybody can go to that color. Um, it will save time um, and probably catch more fish in the long run for you guys. And I hope whatever I did today as far as the colors, help help you guys catch more fish.